As we count down the days to Christmas, Lake Orion families had plenty of opportunities to create holiday memories, including breakfast with the Grinch. A small army of volunteers helped the Lions Club make sure that local families won't go hungry this holiday season. Police, fire, and military heroes took children shopping during an annual event that put smiles on the faces of everyone involved. And the Chamber of Commerce honored business and community leaders during their annual Impact Awards luncheon. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and more on this edition of ON TV News. As people scrambled to do their last minute holiday shopping, me included, and began to prepare big dinners for the family, it's easy to forget about those who are struggling this time of year. Although the need seems greater than ever, the Lake Warren community always comes through to help local families. On the evening of Wednesday, December 6th, Oakland County deputies teamed up with police and fire from Oxford, Addison, and Brandon to make sure local children have a memorable Christmas. Dozens of kids were invited to come out to Meyer in Oxford to partner up with a hero. They were given a gift card and escorted throughout the store for a shopping spree. Donations from members of the community helped make Shop with a Hero possible. This basically comes from our great partners at Meyer first and foremost, and then it comes to the citizens of each of these areas. So each of the citizens of these areas donate uh, their own funds to help kids with need a little bit extra, and they're here to make sure they have a good Christmas. The school liaison helps create a list of families in need and the sheriff's office reaches out to them. The event not only ensures that children have a happy Christmas, but it also strengthens the bond between the community and law enforcement. Unfortunately, right now, media has a negative effect on a lot of things, especially when it comes to law enforcement, but also fire as well. The idea is really we're all in this together. Obviously, we want to make sure that everyone's happy, everyone's safe whether it be fire, police, you name it, that's what we're here for. So I want to make sure we have a positive impact on kids to make sure that they know that we're not the bad guys. We're here to actually help and we're here to work with them. It's a community thing and that's our biggest issue. But this truly is the, probably one of the more heartwarming things that we, we participate in every year. Uh, first of all, all the money's raised, donated. Um, our deputies do a great job and they don't just do it today with these families, but um, Lots of people are going to get starting to get pulled over and instead of getting tickets, they're going to get gift cards and things. So we have the best uh, law enforcement and firefighters in, in the business. But, um, you know, the thing that's the most impressive to me and, and, and um, takes you back is a lot of these kids are buying essentials. They're picking out winter boots and coats when they can buy anything they want in the store. We're right behind the toy aisle. They certainly peruse that. But um, the last couple of years when the kids I've been able to shop with, are looking for things that are essentials and just makes you really uh, be grateful for what you have and remember what's important this time of year. Merry Christmas. One week later, the Lake Warrior Police Department partnered with members of the military for a similar event at the Target store on Brown Road. Now in its 15th year, the department invited 23 students from Blanche Sims Elementary and Pink Creek to shop with a hero. How we take these kids shopping is basically through donations through the year from just private citizens or business owners alike. You know, so we just take donations for the Shop with a Hero program and we just, whatever money is collected through the whole year is how many kids we can take. So this year we took 23 kids. In the past we've dumped to 100 and some kids, 110 kids. So it's just how people donate and what they want to donate. So every little bit helps. $5 here, $20 there. It helps every child. I understand the uh, VFW made a donation this afternoon. Yes, they did. Today they made a $500 donation, so that's great. So that you know, for that, that helps us get four, almost four kids to come here today. So it's just a wonderful thing. So just like I said, uh, bus the businesses and, and citizens alike just all donate, and this is how we can make all this a good Christmas for every child. The spirit of giving continued later that week as the Lake Orion Lions Club continued the tradition of making sure local families and seniors don't go hungry this holiday season. On the morning of Friday, December 15th, a small army of volunteers gathered at the Cirque Building Gymnasium to begin sorting the food donations that have been coming in over the past few months. So for the last couple months, the schools, all of the Orient schools have been collecting food. They do their own food drives and uh, different events and volunteer things for the kids. And uh, we collect all the food from them once they get it from the community. And then 
there's we also have our auction in November where we raise money for this event to, to buy more food and to buy gift cards and, and gifts. Uh, and then we have Goodfellow Papers that we did a couple weeks ago, standing on the streets selling papers and collecting donations. Uh, we get donations on Facebook. We run a GoFundMe. So it all comes from the community. It's, we couldn't do it without it. We have about 100 members. And without our community support that we is so strong in Orion Township and then in the village, we, we couldn't do it without our, all that help. Lions Club members were joined by family, high school students, and other volunteers to sort food and fill boxes that were delivered to families in need on Saturday. Numbers were up this year with food and gifts going out to over 240 families and 90 senior citizens. What we do is we sort the families according to how many are in each household, how many kids, their ages, boys, girls, and that kind of guides us to how much food to supply them and what gifts to, to provide them with. A lot of the teenagers, we don't, it's hard to buy for teenagers if you, if you understand that one. So we give them a gift card maybe, um, but we have the bleachers over here full of gifts and mostly for little kids, so we do that. So it, it guides us and what to do and over the years we kind of developed a pattern of we know if it's five members in the family we know approximately how many boxes of food and it's generally about two weeks worth plus a Christmas dinner. As the year winds down the Orion Area Chamber took the time to look back over the past year and honor those who have made a difference in the community. ONTV's Joe Johnson was at the Chamber's recent luncheon and brings us the story. On Thursday, December 7th, the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce hosted their annual Impact Awards Luncheon at Pain Creek Country Club. President and CEO Joyce Donaldson welcomed those in attendance and recognized the Chamber's board members and ambassadors. Following lunch, awards were handed out in seven different categories. Through this process this year, we had a record number of applications. We had 22 nominations. After we, after we gather the, um, the, the application forms, we meet with our selection committee, which is made up of all previous award winners. The process is very thorough, deliberate, painstaking at times, and we all decide on the um, 2023 award winners. So it's, um, it's a tough decision and it's hard because there's so many worthy members out there that um, could easily be winning this particular um, award this season. The Ambassador of the Year Award recognizes the ambassador that goes above and beyond the call of duty to meet and greet members at chamber events. Ambassador Chair Adrian Schur presented the award to Corey Thompson of Red Oak Refillery. Lastly, I want to thank the other awesome ambassadors for doing such an amazing job and the chamber itself for recognizing our efforts. It's no wonder that our welcoming open arms have brought in over 50 new businesses just this year. And I'm thrilled to have been able to play a small role in making that happen. So thank you again for this award. Our chamber is more than just a network of businesses. It's a family of friends who share a common goal of making Orion a better place to live, work, and play. Thank you. Each year, the chamber recognizes the business owner that exemplifies strong community involvement. Bill Kokanis of Golling Buick GMC presented the 2023 Business Person of the Year Award to Melissa Canellis of Canellis Agency Farm Bureau Insurance. I was very honored when I got the phone call from Joyce and very surprised to find out that I was chosen as Business Person of the Year with the Orion Chamber. I joined the industry in 2010 and I reached a point where I decided to open up my own agency in 2017. Some of the smartest things that I did was joining the local chambers. Through that, I met so many new friends, folks that I call family, and just had amazing things happen with my community, my family, and everything surrounding that. So I want to take today and I want to thank all of you. Without all of you, the community, my family, my office team, and everyone else, I would not be where I am today, and neither would the Canales Agency Farm Bureau. So thank you all. The Community Beautification Award is given to the chamber member who strives to maintain and improve the attractiveness of the community. Orient Township Supervisor Chris Barnett presented the award to Polly Ann Trail Manager Linda Moran. 
And I would like to start off by saying thank you to everyone who nominated the trail um, for the Beautification Award here in Orion Township. I was so excited when the Chamber of Commerce called and said that we had been nominated. I was just overjoyed. We have been working so diligently to make the trail what it is today. I would like to thank the communities. I would like to thank the Poly and Trailway Management Council for all of their support and especially the volunteers. Um, we couldn't maintain this beautiful green space without our wonderful volunteers. We uh, look forward to another 26 years of the trail and bringing more beauty to our communities. Um, we're working on bringing in more of our natural species to the trail. And uh, I'm just so excited about this award and the wonderful things the Chamber is doing in Orion Township. And thank you so much for the nomination and see you on the trail. The Economic Impact Award is presented to the business that enhances the area's quality of life by creating and retaining jobs, increasing revenue streams, and revitalizing the community. Orion Township Trustee Julia Dalrymple presented the award to Mosheri Companies. I'm Mario Mosheri. I'm here on behalf of Mosheri Companies and my family members, starting with my mother, Frances, my brother, Dominic, and Frank, to accept this Chamber of Commerce Economic Impact Award. Some of our developments in the area include here in Springs apartments and townhomes on Silver Bell Road, uh, our new Mystic Cove development, which is under construction today. Uh, in this summer, we've been diligent in doing some demolition in the area and improving sites and taking away functional obsolescence, and we're going to be replacing them with new, modern, uh, beautiful residences right on the lake here in Orion Township and in the village of Lake Orion. And I'd like to thank Orion Township for sponsoring this Economic Impact Award. And I'd like to thank all of those members of uh, the construction crews, our vendors, our suppliers, our contractors. There's thousands of work hours and uh, people involved in this. From our architects, Dominic Tringali Architects, and TR Design. We thank you all so very much and we'll bring it back to you. Thank you again for the award. The Entrepreneur of the Year Award recognizes the founder of an innovative new business that contributes to the future growth of the community. Teresa Doan of Genesis Credit Union presented the award to Jay Rice, owner of the Gregor Private Indoor Golf and Club. First, I want to express my deepest gratitude for this amazing honor. Being named Entrepreneur of the Year by the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce is not only a personal achievement, but a testament to the hard work that went into making the Gregor Club a reality. I am truly humbled to receive this impressive award. The Orion Area has welcomed the Gregor Club with open arms, and I want to extend my sincere thanks to the members of the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce for recognizing the impact of our work. This acknowledgement is not just a celebration of my achievements, but a celebration of the entrepreneurial spirit that thrives in this community. I would also like to express my gratitude to Genesis Credit Union for their sponsorship of the Impact Awards. Your commitment to supporting local businesses is so appreciated. Partnerships like these are what makes this community so exciting to be a part of. Thank you once again for this incredible recognition. I am excited about the future, the continued growth of the Gregor, and the positive impact we can make on the Orion and golfing communities. Here's to entrepreneurship, collaboration, and the bright future of the Orion community. Cheers. The Youth Impact Award was given to a member who touches the lives of the young people in the community through entrepreneurship, education, and health and wellness. The Chamber's Joyce Donaldson presented the award to Heidi Mercer of Lake Orion Community Schools. I am honored to accept this award and appreciate that others recognize my passion for youth and education. However, I am blessed to be part of a team in our district that shares the same passion and commitment. This award is for all staff throughout the Lake Orion School District. No matter position or responsibility, we all have the opportunity every day to positively impact the lives of young people. Thank you very much. The Chamber added a new award in 2023 to recognize the entrepreneur who preserved and accomplished her goals at a young age. 
Nicole Sterling of Dort Financial Credit Union presented the Rising Star Award to Hannah Mahoney of Red Lantern Dog Training. I am so excited and honored to be the recipient of the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce Rising Star Award. My love of animals has always been encouraged by my family and friends. As a child living in Florida, I had the impossible dream of racing in the junior Iditarod in Alaska. At 17, I was able to live out this dream. The inspiration for the name of my business came from winning the Red Lantern Award for Perseverance. That perseverance is what brought me and my business to this point. As a newcomer to the Orion Township, I have been welcomed by the Orion Chamber staff and membership and embraced by the residents of this community since the day that I opened. A day that was the realization of my dream to provide dog training services to fellow pet owners and their families. Red Lantern provides a variety of services to dog owners. Our daycare services provide exercise, enrichment, and socialization. We also offer a variety of training services from private lessons, puppy preschool, day training, and more, which provide solutions to the challenges faced by pet owners. Thank you, Joyce Donaldson, President and CEO, Jillian Nolan, Operations Manager, the Board Directors, Ambassadors, and members of the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce for your support and recognition. And a special thank you to the sponsor of the Rising Star Award, Dort Financial Credit Union. Your, mis your mission of enriching people's lives in this community is one that I value and share. Following the award ceremony, the event concluded with a raffle of prizes donated by chamber members. With almost 60 new chamber members coming on board and 16 ribbon cutting ceremonies in 2023, the Impact Awards puts a cap on another successful year. I love that it's in December where it can be a festive event. Sometimes, sometimes this is a Christmas party, so to speak, that everybody can come to see their old friends, meet new friends and develop new relationships. So it is a really nice, feel good festivity towards the end of the year. For more information about getting involved with the Chamber in 2024, visit orionareachamber.com. In Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Throughout the year, the staff at Orion Township Parks and Rec has been busy organizing events for local families to enjoy. And now with the year winding down, they help create unforgettable holiday memories. On the afternoon of Wednesday, December 6th, the Orion Center was transformed into a made in the mitten pop-up market where 25 vendors offered unique and homemade items. It was the perfect opportunity for shoppers to find that perfect gift for a friend or a loved one while supporting local entrepreneurs. Shopping local is key. Um, I mean, I know it's hard to get away from Amazon because it's so easy, but when you shop local, you're investing in your community. I really 100% believe that that is so important. It's, it's putting jobs in your community. It's helping people pay their rent, put food on their table. Um, Mass-produced items are lovely in some regards, but let's face it, you, those CEOs don't need help putting food on their tables. Just a few days later, families returned to the Orient Center to create some fun Christmas memories. On the morning of Saturday, December 9th, Orion Township hosted its annual Breakfast with the Grinch event at the Orion Center. 60 kids and their family members attended two sessions, one at 10 a.m. and the other at 11.30. There were crafts and a movie, and families enjoyed a breakfast of green eggs and ham. The highlight of the morning was a photo op with the mean one himself, the Grinch. Oh, I think it's great. The kids, um, you know, get really into it and they're all dressed up and, you know, have a great time. They love the Grinch, which I think is awesome. After years of hosting Breakfast with Santa Claus, Orion Township changed things up in 2016 and invited the Grinch to spend some time with the little ones. The You Before Me Club from Oakview Middle School volunteered their time to help make the event fun for everyone. I like helping people and I had nothing to do today, so I'm here. Have you been to this event before? Yeah. What do you think about this event? It's nice having the kids play around and then they have to meet, and then they meet the Grinch and everything. I think it's a great way to bring the community together, kind of show them what you know Parks and Rec is all about. You know, very community oriented, and we love to give back to the community and um, you know provide um, inexpensive events that parents can come out with their children and do for fun. One week later, the Orient Center was bustling once again for the township Snow Dash 5K, although someone forgot to coordinate that with Mother Nature. On the morning of Sunday, December 17th, approximately 145 runners and walkers gathered at the Orient Center for the start of the 2023 Snow Dash 5K. At race time, the temperature was 41 degrees with a pretty steady drizzle. At 9 a.m., the race was underway.
Uh, we do it this time of the year because there's not a lot of other recreation activities, honestly. I mean, families are busy, um, but there's not a lot to do outdoors with your family. Um, and a lot of kids are coming home from college. It's a good family time, get together. We have lots of families running out on the course together. Lots, some people like to run with their family. So yeah. it's a great family activity. The course takes participants out onto the beautiful Pollyann Trail where they make their way to Civic Center Park, crossing Scripps Road and Greenshield before heading back to the finish line at the Orion Center. Crossing the finish line in exactly 18 minutes was 31-year-old Alexander Pollock. All participants received a medal at the finish line. Well, I love it. I love that people come out and support this event. I love that people come out with their families. I love that people come outdoors and enjoy the great outdoors even on a day when it's less than ideal. I just thank them all for being here and being a good sport and just running in whatever. We couldn't do it at all without the sponsor's support. Um, the sponsors allow us to keep the registration fees down. Um, they allow us to do some creativity with um, awards and prizes and things like that. And as a matter of fact, Genesis, their hats off to them because not only did it, they support us financially, they supported us with volunteers. So I've got volunteers that got up at the crack of dawn and came out and helped us out. It just might be the last time the Snow Dash takes place at the Orion Center. It's been announced that Orion Township has taken over Great Lakes Athletic Club on Baldwin Road and will move Parks and Rec offices to the facility sometime in 2024. Look for updates on the Township's Facebook page or visit orionparks.com for more information. While the holiday season is a joyous time for many, there are those in the community who gather together to remember a somber moment in our nation's history. On the evening of Thursday, December 7th, Local military veterans gathered at the Orion Center to observe the 82nd anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Japan's 90-minute attack claimed the lives of over 2,000 sailors, 218 soldiers and airmen, 109 Marines, and 68 civilians, and led the United States to enter World War II. Dr. Joseph Master Mateo welcomed those in attendance and introduced retired Navy Captain Matt Butkus, who provided the keynote address. Uh, it's definitely an honor to be invited and, and to speak, especially to speak at such an event. Uh, I, I think uh, the attraction was, since I <laughs> retired retired Navy, uh, as a, a significant uh, uh, event in the history of, of, of the U.S. Navy, as well as our country. Uh, so it, it's definitely an honor to be able to ask to, to, to speak and to help coordinate tonight's ceremony. Following his presentation, a candle ceremony honored the Navy, Marines, Army, and civilian lives lost in the attack. You are not forgotten. The ceremony concluded with a gun salute and the playing of taps. Ready, fire! Ready, fire! Ready, fire! Target! Put that fire! And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News, the final episode of 2023. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'd like to wish you a happy holiday and a happy new year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in 2024.